there's something maybe genetic that makes you feel good when you're down there. It just feels so like the kind of Jewish that I know. He was Russ and daughters. The story of the Russ family begins like so many Jewish immigrant stories. When poverty and pogroms drove them from the shuttles of Eastern Europe. Shuttle. Shuttles, that's what no. it's. No, shuttle. Shuttles, yes. Yeah, so. Shuttles. Shuttles, right. So, do I have to do it again? I must have been about 11, 12, trying to help out behind the counter. It was not easy. Summer, no air conditioning. It was tough. Really, we wore No air conditioning? Layered. How about no heat? Eight cents a quarter for lox. And the salmons were three for 50. Herrings, I remember, three for 10. Oh, God. And one lady says, Oh, what gorgeous girls, who's not married? And they pointed to me. And she says, I got a boy for you. <laughs> Pop used to throw people out. They said anything that he didn't like. Who asked you to come Very here? Forget the address. No one else ever named their firm with daughters. Even before I heard the word feminist, it made me happy. I was with a firm, a major firm, doing trial law and go back and take over the little appetizing store on the Lower East Side. I'm standing behind the counter shortly after I come in and thinking to myself, what am I doing? We're doing We're what yeah. the Russes have always done. We spoke to uh, our grandmother and uh, we told her that we were opening this Russ and Daughters Cafe. Her first reaction was, good luck. Most restaurants don't even last past the first year. That can't even be an option for us. <laughs> Stepping Nachis. Do you know what that means? Shein wie die Lavuna, lichtig wie die Stern, den Himmel am Matuna, bist du mir sie geschickt. You never forget a language that you're taught as an infant. Never. <laughs>